Welcome. You're tuned into Tangled Threads. If you're digging our content, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Hey Reddit, so I've found myself in a bit of a tough spot, and now that it's all come crashing down, I'm here seeking some kind of understanding, or maybe just to confess. It's a long story, but I hope you'll bear with me. I don't want to share any names, so I'll be using fakes. My name is Emily, and I've been married to Jack for seven years. Jack is everything I thought I wanted in a partner, smart, funny, kind, but there was one major difference between us that I foolishly thought we could work through. Jack never wanted kids. From the start, he was clear about it. I, on the other hand, always imagined a house full of laughter and little feet. Over the years, I thought maybe he'd change his mind, but he didn't. About a year ago, after yet another tearful conversation about children that ended in a stalemate, I started to feel desperate. I still loved Jack deeply, but I couldn't shake the vision of being a mother. I couldn't leave him, though. In every other way, we were perfect together. That's when I did something I'm not proud of. One day, while scrolling through Facebook, I came across a profile of Tom, one of Jack's cousins who I hadn't met before. He looked so much like Jack, and something twisted in my mind. I thought if I could have a child that at least resembled the man I loved, maybe it could work out. So, I reached out to Tom, and one thing led to another. Tom and I met a few times, and our encounters were... Well, they happened. I justified it to myself that this was for the sake of having a child that resembled Jack, telling myself some convoluted story about genetics and love. It wasn't long before the guilt started to eat at me. I became anxious, withdrawn. Jack noticed, of course. He's always been perceptive. One evening, he confronted me with a message he'd found on my phone, an exchange between Tom and me, the look on his face as he read it out loud. I'll never forget it. He wasn't just hurt, he was broken. Jack didn't yell, he didn't scream, he just asked me why, through tears. I tried to explain, to tell him it was because I loved him and wanted a part of him, even if he couldn't give it to me himself. But as I heard the words aloud, I realized how twisted it sounded. I was choosing a potential, imaginary child over my real, loving husband. Jack left that night to stay with a friend. I've been in our house alone since, drowning in the deafening silence he left behind, and I've had a lot of time to think. I realize now how irrational and unfair I was. Love isn't about manipulating or betraying. It's about respecting and nurturing. I disrespected Jack and our marriage because I was fixated on what I wanted, not what we agreed upon as partners. I'm not looking for sympathy. I know what I did was wrong, and I'm not sure I can ever make it right. Jack and I have spoken a few times since, mostly logistics about bills in the house. He's agreed to start counseling with me, not necessarily to salvage our marriage, but to understand how we reached this point. I'm grateful for that, at least. I guess I'm sharing this story because it's important for people to hear that sometimes, the things we think we want the most can blind us to what we actually have. I thought I needed a child to be complete, but by trying to force that dream into reality, I risked losing one of the most important people in my life. Thanks for reading. If you have any thoughts or advice, or if you've been in a similar situation, I'd appreciate hearing it. Maybe it'll help make sense of all this, or at least help me find a way to start fixing what I've broken. Update. Hi again, Reddit. It's Emily. I posted a while back about a huge mistake I made, and well, things have only gotten messier since then. I'm here to vent because, frankly, I'm outraged, and I need to let this out somewhere. After everything went down, Jack decided he wanted a divorce. Yeah, a divorce. Can you believe that? After all we've been through, after all the love and years together, he just wants to toss it all aside like it's nothing. And get this, he's trying to keep everything. The house, the car, even our dog, Max. It's like he's trying to erase me from his life completely. I'm sorry, but isn't marriage supposed to be about for better, for worse? I made a mistake, a big one, I know. But for him to just cut and run without even trying to work things out, fully shows how little he actually valued what we had. And keeping everything? That's low, even for him. And about the house, our house. I helped pick that place. I decorated every inch of it. And now he wants to take that from me too? It's unbelievable. He knows how much that place means to me. But here he is, 
ready to snatch it away. How can someone be so cold? Everyone keeps saying I should have thought about all this before I messed up. But come on, people aren't perfect. I admitted my wrongdoing, tried to make amends, and even suggested therapy. What more does he want from me? Blood? Mm. Now I hear from friends that he's been playing the victim, painting me as the villain in all this. It's incredible how easily people forget the good times and suddenly turn you into some heartless monster. Where's the fairness in that? I loved him, and part of me still does, but this whole ordeal is really starting to show his true colors. And honestly, I'm sick of people telling me I'm in the wrong, that I should just lie down and accept everything he throws at me. No, I won't do that. I have rights, and I'll fight for them. It's not just about the material stuff, it's about respect, something Jack clearly has no concept of anymore. If he loved me, truly loved me, he wouldn't be dragging me through the mud like this. Love means forgiveness, understanding, and at least a shred of compassion. But I guess those were just words to him. So, yeah, I'm mad. I'm more than mad, I'm livid, and I'm not gonna just roll over. I'm getting myself a good lawyer, and we'll see what the courts have to say about all this. Maybe then he'll realize you can't just treat people like they're disposable. Thanks for letting me rant. If anyone has any advice, or if anyone's been through something similar, let me know. Right now, any support would be great. Update 2. Hey Reddit, it's Emily again. So, it's been a month since my last post, and let me just say, things didn't exactly go my way. The divorce is finalized, and I didn't get much from it. It feels like I've lost everything I cared about, and now I'm just trying to pick up the pieces. I've started to try dating again, but let's just say it's been less than stellar. It's tough out there, and I guess I'm not really in the best headspace for it either. I've been on a few dates, but nothing has clicked. It feels like everyone I meet can sense the mess that I am right now, or maybe I'm just not ready to open up to someone new. It's only been a month, so I'm trying to keep my expectations realistic. I know I can't just expect everything to fall into place overnight, but it's hard, you know? It's hard not to feel a little disheartened when you thought you'd spend the rest of your life with someone, and now you're scrolling through profiles, trying to figure out if you can even muster the energy for a coffee date. I've been spending a lot of time reflecting on everything, trying to understand where things went wrong and how I can improve myself. I know I have a lot to work on, especially when it comes to trusting and opening up to people. Maybe I'm jumping back into dating too quickly, but I also don't want to just sit around feeling sorry for myself. I miss what I had, and I know it's going to take time to heal from all of this. But I'm trying to stay positive, keep busy, and hopefully one of these days, I'll find someone who really gets me and can look past the chaos of my recent past. That's all for now, Reddit. Thanks for listening. Any advice or encouragement would be really appreciated. Here's some advice and encouragement. Don't do stupid shit and do better. Anyways, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threads.